to our channel so today we've got for you a very special um a very special video okay i could have gone with that couldn't i, I forgot what it was called <laughs> hey everyone welcome back to our channel today we've got a very special video for you it's a uh, best friend tag we've been best friends for about almost three years now isn't it a bit too long but each to their own I think we'll learn in this video that we either know each other or we don't. But like, if we do know each other, it's in stupid ways, if yeah. you know what I mean. It doesn't really make sense, Our actually. friendship isn't normal, let's be real here. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> we'll go with that one. Let's get started. We look down, we're looking at our iPads to see the questions. So, shout out to Joanne for messaging me and distracting me. You go, boy, you go. <laughs> First question is how and when did you meet? Is that the answer? Yeah, because right, I, okay. if I ask. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Right, okay, so we met, um, it was a few weeks into first year. If you don't know, we met at uni. We both go to the same uni, we both study the exact same things, which is really great. Can't go away from each you, other. You really can't. <laughs> um, and I went up to Deanna because I didn't really know anyone, and I saw her sitting outside near like where our lesson was. Yeah, that's me, I'm a loner, you're a loner too. Oh, I meant me because oh. I'm sat on my own. <laughs> Like, Lona I didn't finds know anyone, Lona. so yeah, I went up to her and we had like a group chat before uni that was like all the languages students and I sort of recognised her from that. So I went up to her. A fab mug. Exactly. Couldn't forget that. Um so, <laughs> so I went up to her and then we just started talking and we were basically in like half the same classes, so we just sort of naturally became friends from that. Yeah. So my first memory of Rosie is or meeting like meeting Rosie in person was we didn't really meet, but we had an oral class that was like our first one. Oh yeah. And she sat on like one end of the table with someone else and I sat on the other end with someone else. So on this like first like oral class that we had together, which I think was maybe one of the first classes we actually had together. Yeah, I think like, it would have been. We didn't like speak to each other, we didn't really know we each other. We didn't know each other until that Friday when we had our yeah. listening class. And like it? this oral class at the beginning of the week or something. Tuesday. Wow, okay, it's first year timetable, still in her head. But um, it was just weird because we were both in the same class, but sat in like different groups, so to speak. And then, like by the week after, we were basically like sat with each other in the oral class, yeah. Which didn't like make the teacher happy after a few <laughs> sessions. Right. Second question: What was your first impression of me? Well, like we said, we sort of met online, like on Facebook before. And I didn't really get much of an impression of you from Facebook. But then I met you, like, when you came up to me on Friday and were like, oh, you in my class? I was like, oh, this one's not afraid to be like, oi, you, what's up? <laughs> I thought you were very, like, and I still think you're very, like, not, you're shy, but once you get to know someone, you're not shy in any way, shape or form. <laughs> Let's clarify that one. Um, and I just thought there was something, like, quirky about you. Plus, you had the same hair, actually. And you have, you did have like this sort of blondish hair. Yeah, I do actually. I remember seeing it and be like, oh, look at that hair. Go on then, what was your impression of me? I first got to know you. I thought you were super quiet, which she really isn't once you get to know her. Um, really and you're so sassy as well. And I do, don't think I would have expected that from you. I just didn't. And it wasn't until like a, a few weeks later we properly started like having banter and making each other properly laugh that I think you started to come through a little bit more. But you're always very nice and very friendly and you put up with me, so... Um, what's your favourite memory together? Um, this is really hard because we have loads of nice memories together. Mm -hmm. And I'm definitely the more sentimental out of the two of us, so I know that Diana's going to choose some stupid story about where I was, just did something really weird and she laughed at me. But I'm going to choose a nice memory, which is at the end of second year, after all our exams finished, you came and stayed with me for a day and then we went to Thorpe Park and then we went to Alton Towers and we had like the cutest little lodge in Alton Towers and it was the park was completely dead and it was like the hottest week in May and it was just such a nice time and it was so peaceful and we just did our own thing and yeah it was just really really lovely. So one of my favourite mem memories, as Rosie Memory. says, <laughs> we do have a lot of memories. We do good and some weird ones like not, not not they're not bad they're just weird 
And um, I was going to go with a really special moment of Rosie's, but I've decided to be nice Damn. and I'll save that for somewhere else. I'm going to throw that one in somewhere oh, else. Great. Um, one of my favourite memories is we went to um, Disneyland for my birthday because Rosie and my other friend Steph, pretend she sat here, um, they organised Paris and Disneyland for me for my 21st. Um, shout out to you guys, to you and to Steph. Um, and it was just really nice going to Disneyland and being able to like go on the rides and stuff because obviously like we've been to Alton Towers and been on rides and stuff but obviously Disneyland is a passion of Rosie's and uh, especially the Star Wars ones like oh my she God, don't. died <laughs> so um, it, there was one ride I can't remember which one it was that you sort of like cried a bit because oh right so you know if anyone who knows Disney you know Space Mountain but at Disneyland Paris yeah. they've changed Space Mountain to Hyperspace Mountain and as you go off it, it plays like the beginning, like the opening crew, like Star Wars theme. And I just sort of started going, like crying. And then obviously we were on a ride. So we're going upside down. So I was screaming and like hysterically crying because I was so happy at the same time. And yeah, it was great. We got off and she was just like, that was so good. And she was just like <laughs> melting away <laughs> of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so that's cool. one of my favourite memories like that was a good day so because Disneyland's magical anyway if this you get to go true. with Rosie and Stephanie who will pretend is here um, <laughs> <laughs> it's just even extra magical and it's just extra because it's Rosie um, so yeah I think that's one of my favourite memories that was cute I like that describe each other in one word <sighs> this is really hard so I'm gonna go with five hours later oh right yeah she's extra uh, rosie in one word is extra if you ever meet rosie good luck to you no but she's a very extra person anything that a normal person would do rosie takes to the next level in literally every sense of the word and there's just there's just no there's just no way around it okay she is extra I wouldn't say I'm extra in like every sense, but I'd say my fashion choices can be a little bit extra at times. How about your words for me? Okay. Be nice. <laughs> I'd say quirky. Because you like, you have such a larger than life personality and you can also be really, really weird sometimes. Like last night, I can't repeat what she said to me, but she said it to me and we both sort of just died on the floor for about five minutes before going to bed just because it was just so weird. And I know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. I don't know. Um, and some of the things you also do, like I wouldn't, yeah, just, gen just in general, you're just a bit quirky. Like you're not 100% weird, but you're not 100% normal either. So you're just like a nice little like in between. For like anyone that knows me, I am well. For like anyone that knows me that's watching this probably agrees with you, like, yeah. I feel like you agree. Yeah. Yeah. Right. List three items that I always carry with me. <laughs> there we are. Okay. Right. You always have your phone. Yep. That counts. It does count, It's an yep. item that you have all the time. Um, it's another thing you always carry on. Hmm. I'm not telling you. You've got to figure it out yourself. You don't really, but if we were to go out without a bag, you wouldn't really be carrying stuff, would you? What? I guess she carries a purse, so yeah, she's always got a purse on her. Um, and I'd say that she's always got some sort of like medication with you. You always either got like ibuprofen, neurofen. Yeah, I'd say that's probably good. something like that. You're always like yeah. my pharmacy. <laughs> when I don't have anything, I'm like Rosie, give me them drugs. Three things that I carry. Right, you're fine because you're attached to it. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Vaseline. Because <laughs> you can't go like two minutes like lubing up your lips. Um, and Vaselining up. Vaselining <laughs> up. I would probably say your headphones. Yeah, I don't forget them. That was a dig at me because I forget <laughs> them. A favourite inside joke? Um, okay, I'm gonna have time that I made Deanna properly, properly laugh. And we're walking back to her flat in uh, first year and I for any of you that don't know, I work in a Chinese takeaway and I don't know how we managed to get to this but basically this guy that worked there is called Dave and we shout just... Shout out to Dave. Shout out to Dave if you're watching, I feel like you're not but yeah. Um, and then we just sort of died because I kept saying I want to eat Dave's balls, I mean like chicken balls, 
just to clarify, you know, you go to the Chinese, you get your chicken mood. Fun Dave. Yeah, it doesn't sound very funny. And it doesn't sound funny <laughs> now. But it was it funny, absolutely really. hilarious because we both <clears throat> lost it over the image of Dave's sweet and sour balls. That is true. So, yeah. Shout out to Dave and his sweet and sour balls. Yep. Come to see we'll see you for your <laughs> his Chinese. <laughs> Great. Um, <laughs> Go on, Indiana, do yours. All right. Well, that was going to be mine, but okay then. Um, now I've got to think of something else. Oh my lord! This is going to be potentially embarrassing for me. But... There's, there's, there's a few here, but I'm going to go with this one. Basically, yes, she went to Australia for two weeks last summer, so she tells me many stories of Australia. <laughs> <laughs> but this was actually you told me this one quite. You I mentioned think it was about this two weeks. You ago. mentioned this whole like. The main bit of the story yeah but this extra bit you only told me like a few weeks ago basically she was saying how they went to this like what was it, it was like a rooftop bar that was like a pub sort of thing and it doesn't look like a it ba basically it was in a really nice spot in sydney and you could see like all the way across the harbour we sat there had a drink and it was just a really nice afternoon so she tells me about this pub and how you know it was really nice it was really busy and um yeah to emphasize about how it was really busy she then she was like oh yeah so we went to this rooftop bar it's actually really nice we were lucky to get a table actually it's so busy basically and for some reason she just found this really really funny and then every time i say something mundane like i describe what i'm about to do she sits there and she goes well we were lucky to get a table actually so although that's some, like, like your story it doesn't sound funny at all you're probably sitting there going what are these two on um, it was hilarious, and it still is. Diana, what are my fears slash phobias? I don't know. You don't like birds? I don't like birds. To be fair, that is a good one. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, I hate birds. Why? I just don't like how you can't you can't really predict them. And like, right, okay. So Diana's had a few instances where she's had food taken away from her by birds. Traumatising moments. This Can is I a, just make it's it actually another Australia thing. This originated in Australia because we tried to have lunch at like, we went to a zoo, we had lunch there and we sat outside at like a picnic table and they had like loads of birds just surrounding us and they were literally just constantly waiting for a they chance to just, just try and get us or get our food and it just really scared me. And then one of them attacked this baby that was holding like fish and chips and then I was like, nah, I've had enough of this. So I really like that and that you can't like see them because they're just... Swoop in. swoop in and swoop out again. Yeah, because like they fly in. Yes, well done. Because they're birds. What's my phobia? Spiders. True story. That's quite common though. Yeah, I'd say it is. And basic more than anything, what can I say? I think just most bugs, to be honest with you, in general, creep me out a little bit. But spiders are the really bad ones. And you don't like feet. Yeah, that's true. I would say how a phobia of feet. I just, no, just greatly dislike I'm a bit them. weird. I'm a bit weird about feet. Quirky. I tell you. And yeah. Do we have nicknames for each other? <laughs> oh, we have many, darling. Look, we have many nicknames for each other. They're not all endearing terms. <laughs> no, they're really not. <laughs> One of my favourite for you was um, we read this fan fiction. Oh my god, not this one. <laughs> read this fan fiction i'll try and find the link it below if you want to have a read people in the sort of fan fiction world will probably know about it we were just oh, in your God. room one evening weren't we and we had some chocolate pizza and we were like yeah, let's read this that was actually really nice it was really nice and we just ended up like reading it out to one another didn't yeah we? it was beautiful we took turns and it was beautiful <laughs> basically it was like harry potter yeah yeah but this person had written like basically i don't really know what she tried to do it was just a mess and it's hilarious um, she like she changed she did she change things yeah she, just, she did she, yeah but it wasn't she just she wasn't she changed names it was the fact she couldn't spell the names so we basically we when, when we say nicknames most of our nicknames come from when we change on our facebook like group chat thing on our facebook chat we change each other's like nicknames on it so i think for a while i was you were ella b because her name was Ebony and she couldn't spell it right, so it went to Enerby. And for those of you who know Harry Potter, you know Professor Lu Lupin. I can't say because I'm like saying thing then. Professor Lupin, and she called him Lumpkin, didn't yeah. she? So I was Lumpkin for a while, and you were Enerby. Uh, I think that's one of my favourite nicknames for her is Lumpkin. Um, there's also the fact that I spell. I type really badly. Yeah. <laughs> it's not I type badly. You I type, type quickly fast and, and autocorrect. Can't keep up with me sometimes. 
one time I tried to spell mental. Oh yeah. Um, and it came out as mentac, like with a K. <laughs> so she became mentac for a bit as well because that was really catchy. So lump, my mentac lumpkin is this person here. Yeah. So There's our current nicknames are relating to the ITV show Plebs, which if you haven't seen, it's like a Roman version in between us. It's great. I would definitely it's hilarious. recommend you checking it out. Yeah. But at the minute, I'm Grumio and you're Landlord. Yeah. Which, if you've seen it, you'll get it, but... Yeah. yeah. Salve, Grumio. All right, Landlord. Right, nickname for me. You do have another... I mean, I was going to say, you do have another personal nickname for me. Do I? Yes. What is it? Chub Shop. Oh, <laughs> we kind of could that one. <laughs> yeah, we'll just leave that one there. Um... <laughs> Like, yeah, most of your nicknames are just happen to, like, come off jokes we have going on at the time, like Landlord. We tend to go through phases where we'll, like, yeah. keep changing them. Chris will be like, who's this messaging? I'm like, it's Rosie. <laughs> but she's got a different nickname this week. Yeah. There I mean, was one. There was one. I can't remember what it was. It might have been Lumpkin, where he was like, who is this? <laughs> and then we changed it to something else, and he was like, what? I was like, it's Rosie. <laughs> And he's like, what's this? I was like, um, yeah, a lot of our nicknames don't make sense to other people. No, <coughs> but then I guess those are the... forms of inside jokes, yeah. I guess. It's just, this one nicknames are for sometimes, aren't they? This is true. Right, your turn. Right, let me pick a good question. Should the last one for both of us? Yeah. I'm about to make it good then. Video. What do you admire most about your best friend? Um, winner, winner, this, chicken dinner. I hey. most admire about me, myself and I, which is my best friend. I should ignore Diana for a bit. <laughs> that's my joke. Well, I stole it. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do? What, what you gonna, gonna do with that big for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Okay. What do I admire most about you? That was my question. No, you can't repeat the question. I'm thinking about it. Is that all right? I am thinking about it. Is it okay? <laughs> I would... Give me a second. <laughs> I would probably say um, your courage in the face of adversity. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Okay, keep going. Because, okay, we've had a bit of an interesting year. We'll talk more about that when we do our year abroad story time. And Grenoble was really bad at some point. It was, it was genuinely awful. Um, do you have some good memories from we it? We do though? have some good memories. Shout out to Beth. Um, but a lot of the time we were just sort of upset so yeah we had some really difficult times in Grenoble especially and you've been away from your boyfriend which really sucks and then on top of that you know having to deal with being in France dealing with a different culture she's away from her family a lot of the year anyway when we're at uni so I think the fact that you can deal with all those different things at the same time and then still be your bright like happy self and still manage to take the mickey out of me on a regular occasion still and space for that even life. the times when I felt down you were still there to be like it's all right we'll get through this and I can't tell you how much I appreciated that and I know for myself I can get really really down and just stick in that so for you to, to be that sort of positive influence on my life I very much so admire and the fact that you continue to do it to this day I don't know how I do that but I will take that it's thank you it's a natural you. talent I'm gonna say born this way. <laughs> Shout out to my parents for making me this way. <laughs> right, one thing I admire most about you is it's all on the same lines as what you just said about me. Um, but I'm, I'm just gonna <laughs> don't just, copy me because I don't want to copy you. I'm not gonna use you abroad. I'm gonna use your whole like. I hope you don't mind me saying this, but your you're gonna say family, family situation. Yeah, your family. Yeah, that's fine. Situation. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna we'll call it that one. Um, through like from what I know I wasn't there when you went through it but um you know I was sort of there like at the end of it when you came out of it and you know you've done really well I feel like I mean like I said I didn't know you before all of that happened but I feel like you're still the same person like you're still as funny and bright mm -hmm. still as funny and bright and kind and caring as you were back then so despite all this really rubbish stuff really happening you're still like that and you don't let it get down to you wait, wait you don't let it get you down sorry <laughs> you don't let it get you down um you know even when things do still pop up here and there because 
things aren't all 100 100% like closed up and everything you don't let it get to you and you sort of push past it and you're like okay this is bad I'll deal with it okay then I'll just move on like it's over there now it's done done and dusted dust that over there Store there's some dust there. in here to be fair yeah you could actually just a quick little review there um so yeah I think so basically the same thing really just how you sort of come out of something so basically we're rays of sunshine in each other's lives yeah I think that's it I think that was enough questions yeah that lost was count enough. of how many we did yeah this was actually really fun I don't know I just like reminiscing about stuff like this with you and also we always have a good laugh when we talk about stuff so it's just been nice yeah I'm gonna hug you now for those of you who don't know Deanna hates hugs and I love hugs uh, yeah I'm not a massive hugger I'm more of a patter she pats me not inappropriately. Okay, well, Anyone that's time. That's another story. <laughs> but it's a really bad joke. So, um, we hope you enjoyed this best friend yeah. tag. It was, it's, it's, it's quite old. Like it's a yeah. quite an old tag. <laughs> but we just thought it was quite fun. It's a way for you to get to know us. Yeah, and just for us to sort of like you said reminisce because we don't really think about these things often. No, like it took me a while right. to think of like my favorite memory and my favorite inside joke and that because we have so many. Yeah, and I don't sit there usually sorting through them, being like, "Oh, this one's nice." Although we have it. So we hope you enjoyed, and you know, don't forget to like and subscribe and give us those big thumbs up. Got to love the thumbs up. Don't we all? Um, write in the comment section any ideas you have for any videos. We have a few, don't we? So we do, but we're we're happy to take your suggestions. Yeah, so we're more than happy. Leave down below yep. which ones you'd like to see. One hundred percent. Make sure you have watched our Valencia yep. vlog. Make sure you keep <laughs> up with us in our year abroad in Spain because we're doing lots of exciting things. More exciting than France. One hundred percent more exciting than France. So, so the vlog should be good. Yep. So if you haven't seen those yet. Go and check those out. Um, and yeah, we will see you next time. Bye. Bye, Felicia.